Hello, my name is Isabel Tanzi. I am from Nanaimo and I'm really excited to be part of the Readers of the Week. I am a student right now going into my fourth year of university at Western University. What was your favorite book as a child? I remember loving Effie's Bath. I don't know if anyone has heard of it, but basically these two girls are in the bathtub and they dive down and it's a big ocean and I had a really big imagination. So I remember really loving that one. Um, what is a recent book you read? So recently I read Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. Um, I would recommend this book to anyone. I think it's really, really well done. It's basically about living with mental illness. Um, so the writer actually suffered from severe depression and other comorbid mental health issues. And it's just really honest. And I think it it's hard for people to understand when people are going through a mental health um, issue. And this really illuminated all the, very honestly, everything that he faced. So if you're interested, I'd definitely recommend. What other resources do you use from the library? I'm a student, as I said, so I do a lot of papers and a lot of research. I'm in science, so I use a lot of the search engine databases to look for scholarly papers and journal articles. So I use it a lot, <laughs> very helpful. How do you think your life story affects your relationship with the types of books you're drawn to? I always have wanted, I always really found it interesting how people think. So I think a lot of the books that I am interested in, especially I wanna go into healthcare medicine. So I, look or I want to read a lot of the books that are about that. I think it ties into a big part of who I am, trying to understand people a little bit better um, so I can ultimately connect and help them. So I, yeah, I read a lot of psychology books and medical books. What does the library mean to you? When I think of the library, I think of it a safe space. It's a community where you can learn and indulge in knowledge and information. Um, I love learning and reading and just finding out everything I possibly can. So I really love the library. How can libraries act as part of a support system for someone in a mental health crisis? I think the most important thing the library can do is to aid in the prevention of mental health crises rather than during. Um, I think it's a community that could aid in supporting resources. I know the library has a ton of resources so and they're all really they're private and secure so you don't have to feel any judgment or shame while you're searching. Everything is private and I think that's really important. I think a lot of the resources are aimed to target people in crisis and I think that's kind of the wrong way to think about it. I think we need to think about um, prevention rather than remediation over anything. So maybe mental health study, like reading groups or um, just a space that people can come in and talk about things, like really connect with other people that are going through the same thing. I think that would be really cool. What projects are you working on lately? Um, so in November, um, of last year, I had a good friend die by suicide. Um, it was really, really hard on myself and the, my community at school. And I, with a friend, started the Courage Project, which is a mental health initiative. Um, and what, what I was just talking about, we're all focused on um, prevention rather than remediation and really supplying people the tools to work on themselves continually rather than um, needing help in a crisis. So we have been raising money for the Canadian Mental Health Association. We recently became a nonprofit. So what we wanna do is continue to raise money and bring it actually back into the community, um, providing safe talk for students so they know what to do when one of their friends is suicidal. 
um, because knowledge is power. Strong libraries, strong communities.